Hello, this is Artsy Wisdom. My name is Diane. Thank you for coming by. This is going to be a quick read. I wanted to uh, dive into the GOP's journey. I'm using my Oracle of Rama cards and some paper divination. Oracle of Rama, Lord Rama, ancient um, tradition that is embedded with so much spiritual information, something that you can use um, thousands of years old. So that's what I, I feel very comfortable with these cards, so I love them. But I also wanted to do my paper divination, which I crumpled this up, and I also see. So I'm going to do GLP, how their journey is now that they've committed to Trump. Will they get him to stay on track? Because I know they're using him to get their goals met. It's not just about um, being in power to help the people. It's about being in power to help themselves. So they, and I see that um, Trump is not able to wrap his head around Harrison Walls and they are um, confusing him. He's really kind of stuck in a cycle. So, and if Abby barks, I'm sorry, we're outside and there's people and things happening. So um, the GOP cycle, I just pulled one, which was sacrifice. And when you you have to pull two cards which kind of doesn't make i know you don't need to know this but this is a hero's journey kind of uh symbolically it's uh rama's journey into his um learning spiritually growing having difficulties misfortune and they flip into fortune and changing the world um, so sacrifice that's what cards i pulled for the gop um, and what I see is they have sacrificed a lot. They've sacrificed their values over the years to keep the power because they know Trump is there and they can get what they want. And they see these decades long goals possibly getting met, like the Supreme Court being more conservative, which is not really conservative. It's more just following doing what they want. So I also wanted to look at the Democratic path, but I wanted to see, is Trump going to be eliminated no, he's not going anywhere. I don't see them losing him before the election or getting rid of him. Uh, I don't think they'll get rid of J.D. Vance or Trump will. I think he's he's got a, a path to some things that um, they all need, Trump needs, so... They're all going to, they're going to keep him around. He's actually very valuable. May not be popular, but he's very valuable. So. No, they're going to go, they're going to keep going. And I think they're going to change the strategy. They're going to um, aim, they're going to figure out something to attack her on and walls on and in uh, immigration, her liberal voting record, because she does have one. She's kind of shifted to more moderate in recent years, but definitely they're going to focus on that. They are going to lose in the fall, but I just was c curious, would they uh, somehow get rid of Trump or will he get better at it? I think they're going to train him. <laughs> it sounds horrible. They're going to train him to speak in the way that they need him to do, to stay on task, to stay on target with their their uh, their strategies and all the things that they're using to um, take down Harrison Walls. She's coming out with some plans, but they're not. I guess they're very vague about her um, policies and stuff that she plans to do in the future. Um, but the question I asked was the GOP, how are they going to move forward? They are going to shift gears a little bit. They're going to give him more to focus on. They're going to um, kind of train him into these new strategies to see if he can get some talking points that are actually going to be valuable for the people, the voters, this MAGA group. Of course, they just love him anyway. So a lot of them don't leave because of what he says. They're already allegiant to him and no matter what he does. It's pretty culty and it's sad, really. Okay, so the Demo uh, Democratic National Convention is coming up, and will they change any of their strategies? Will anything be different? What's going to happen for the Democratic um, hmm. exile? Banish, mother of Rama's brother. 
Oh, in general, not favorable as one goes through a time that appears to be unfair. Interesting. I don't know what that means. Uh, let's see. I'm going to pull this card on and on again. Indications of great destiny. So earlier when I was pulling cards on this, it seemed like it was more about timing. And this is the season. And this is her moment. Because in the past it wasn't her moment, but now it is. And I think... The destiny is is unchangeable. That's what I'm feeling. So she's getting through it. And that's why everybody's very excited about it. So no big changes. Everything is going as planned, but it seems like there may be a dip. And I've said this before for her. I think there's going to be a dip. And it's a slump after the DC. I think, I don't know if they're going to find some old stuff on, on her. And it's really going to actually make her seem less favorable. This is her time. They're going to win. Just, I just wanted to see if they were going to change anything in everybody's direction. All right. Take care. Till next time.